Hi guys, happy new year and welcome back to the Ghost Jones YouTube channel. I am back and it is a new year, it's 2021. Um, before we get started, I want to make sure that all of you watching are subscribed to my channel. Um, you know, I would greatly appreciate it and it really helps me in the algorithm and it makes sure that, you know, your friends and just some new people are able to see my content. So I just recently purchased a Movado watch and if you all don't know, Movado is a watch brand and it is Swiss made. So if you are a watch connoisseur, you would know that Swiss made watches are highly sought after only because they are just the standard, you know. Um, these watches are going to be very nice, they're very smooth. This is like, when you think of Swiss made, you're gonna think like, Rolex like think on like that level you know how they talk about how rollies don't tick they just glide that's because they're Swiss made how does the watch go we uh, we not no that's not a Swiss made <laughs> a switch made a Swiss made watch Swiss maids they are going to just be hand they, well, they're not going to be handmade all the time, but they're just crafted beautifully. And Movado is one of those Swiss made brands. So the biggest misconception with Swiss made is that people think that they're always made in Switzerland. That is kind of like half true. So when we're talking about Swiss made, we essentially mean that um, kind of like the inside components have been made in Switzerland and make sure essentially that it's kind of like up to their standard. Ooh, we got a, we got a Twitter notification. I forgot to, um, all right. I forgot to put all of my stuff on silent <laughs> for this video. This is the box that my Movado came in. The type of Movado that I have is the Museum Movado, and that is like one of their um, classic styles. Movado is really known for like their minimalism and all of that, and I'm a minimalist, so it just really works for me. So this is the box that it's actually in. Then you have like, this box here i don't know why they do that i guess this is like the box to cover this box but honestly both of these boxes are going in the trash so boom here it is this is my baby there's literally nothing on it like how do you even know what time it is well you kind of don't and you don't need the numbers on there because you just know the time or you have a smartphone okay it's 11 it's like 1109 Okay, God, I can't tell the time on this one. Okay, that does not matter. Movado is not a super high-end brand. Um, honestly, my Movado Museum piece here retails for about $500. Um, so if you are getting your stimulus, which is about $600, you could actually buy this because I think with taxes and everything, it might hit you at like $550. So this is genuine leather i say genuine like cardi b i love the way she says genuine like she just really makes it her own all the love that my fans that my friends that everybody shows me is genuine is beautiful and that's something that god give me that you can't buy but this is black okay and then I have, you know, the stainless steel and my silver accents here on the back is just literally nothing really. I mean, it tells you the type of watch that I have and that's about it. I forgot. I have a little, I have like a little baby wrist. I'd be having to literally put my thing on the last notch because any other one it would just slide down my hand and I like my watch to like sit all the way up here like I don't really want it like falling down there like how my other one does on my other one I have all the links taken out like I can't take any more out because if I do it'll be too small but this one I mean it sits like right here on me which you know that's 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 a decent you know area for it to be in i was so nervous about getting this watch because literally i wear 
gold, I think, more than what I do silver. But I really wanted something to go with all of my looks for when I wear like all black and all of those things. And just like some of the jackets and stuff that I wear, they have silver hardware on them. Like my mules have silver hardware, but I always have gold jewelry. So I always end up wearing like nothing with those pieces. But then I was like, well, what if I just want to do like the cute t-shirt and jeans look, and then I'm going to want something gold. So I literally went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then I thought to myself, I said, okay, I'll just do the, the, um, the museum classic in the, um, in the black and gold because my father had one, um, in black and gold. So then I was like, okay, well, I kind of like, I really want to be like my dad. So I was like, well, I'll just get one like him. But then I was like, but you need something for when you wear all black because they have something else that's super cute that's a museum but it um the band is blue oh my god okay i just need to cut hold on guys how do i cut the ringer does anybody know how to work an ipad because i literally don't i don't think you can put them on silent anymore it doesn't work okay oh y'all i'm sorry i'm popular today usually nobody is ever texting me like oh okay maybe i can put it on do not disturb okay boom do not disturb it's solved. problem solved what was i talking about i don't know but i came to the decision i bought this watch and i love it okay like i got a movado i'm little kim y'all y'all remember that song where she was like movado watch tennis for the wrist you ain't ever seen no ice like this so now you know what you working with handle your business and keep coming with that stuff that i like like a candle i'm too hot to handle i see your eyes sizing up my hips and my thighs okay boom hello it's a movie bling, bling, bling. Bling, bling. Bling, bling. Bling, bling. <laughs> like this is so fucking cute and then Honestly, I'm such a stickler for details. I was like, I need the black and gold because in my frames here, like if you see there's gold, like they're black and gold. So I was like, if the watch matches, that would be cute. But honestly, you can always just buy another watch. Like I have like one, I have like three other watches, but I only wear like one of them. And then um, the other two, my ex gave me, he really gave me three watches, but one of them is no longer with me let's just say we got into an argument really bad and i just really wanted to get rid of that watch i wish that i hadn't have done that but you know what new year new me i have nothing bad to say about it other than i mean i just feel like the packaging is kind of plain like i know that we are a minimalist brand but gee whiz can i get like something just cuter than this but honestly I I say if you are in the market for something that is really cute and affordable, go check out Movado. Go get you a Movi. Go get you, you know, a Avada. Get you a tennis for the wrist. You know, boy yourself in 2021. You got $600. <laughs> so it's time for me to rate this watch. Um, I would give it a i would honestly give it like a set uh not even a seven i'll give it like an eight out of ten only because you know it has a nice presentation it works really well for my aesthetic it works really well for my pockets um the only things that i don't like is the leather band which is totally my fault um well really my pockets fault because anything without the leather band from them is like 700 plus so and you know we can't do that we living good but we ain't living that damn good that's just me and then i mean it was just whatever in the box like it wasn't the box didn't wow me i kind of wish that they did put like little ticks or something like around there maybe without the numbers but you know this is fine i'm not really gonna be using like all my watches the batteries are dead <laughs> so i'm not really like looking at it to like really function so probably when the battery dies i'm just gonna randomly like on my other watches i just randomly like move the time around so it looks like it's doing something but i 
I don't care. Like, I really wear these pieces for fashion. Like, I, I usually check my phone for the time. But other than that, we are done here, honey. I hope you all enjoyed this. I hope I helped you guys make a decision in purchasing or not purchasing a Mobado watch, okay? Um, definitely check out their website. You know, they got some good stuff on there. I totally recommend it. Um, definitely leave your opinions in the description, not in the description box. Leave your opinions in the comment section below. I want to hear from you guys. Like, what is your favorite watch brand? Do you even care about your watch being Swiss made or not? Or do you even like watches at all? Are you just watching this for the hell of it because you love me? Like, is that why? Maybe you are. I don't know. But um, I will definitely see you guys in the next one. Peace.